said I'm back and enjoy the ride. The sounds bear sticks, got titters on the side. Um, I'm in this for um, not not uh, any other reason but to play in front of lots of people, play with lots of people, um, and uh, play in as many places as I can. Um, so in that in that case too, the the first thing that's that's primary is to uh, connect with the audience, and so. To do that with an original song is the most euphoric feeling. That's the pinnacle of what you're after. I mean, that's, yeah, uh, and, and to, to have people um, come up and, and say that that connected to them is, is so flattering. That's incredible, man. Yeah. So, I mean, so you're writing, obviously, songs. I mean, you know, what do you, where do you go for inspiration? What are you doing? You know, is it from personal experiences in the past? Is it from, you know, it could be out your fishing day. You know, what do you, what do you, Indeed. What do you do? Indeed. Um, I usually try to stick with pretty positive mes message, you know. My life is really positive up here, so it's it's hard. A lot of people write about uh, their pains and, pains and sorrows, and, and I have a hard time doing that because life is really good. So uh, I, I try to capture uh, certain feelings and uh, go with them uh, when I write, I guess. Um, so a lot of my songs are pretty... Pretty happy messages, I think. But so, is songwriting like is it just when it inspires you, or you're going to sit down and write, or do you actually like say, you know what, two hours a day or something, I'm going to sit down and see what I can crank out, see what comes to me. Often, yeah, that's the case. I'll I'll sit down and and I'll try, or maybe I'm just inspired. Often, I'm inspired by traveling or moving. I always have this um, this vision of of playing on the road and, and having someone drive me around so that I can. I can just be inspired by everything around me. And I Take can, it all in, not just you know, write, stare at the road the whole time. I love to write on planes because it's the perfect scenario. I have someone driving, I have a window to look out with clouds and whatever they remind me of, but also um, I have my own little desk and my own little space and I can kind of zone out and focus on some some neat thoughts, you know, and... and so I might just be going down the road and write a catchy thing that I hear on my phone and then I'll sit down at that two hour period later and say how can I manifest this into a, a, a whole song or even even many songs. I don't, I don't so know. It's just, who's an inspiration for you? I mean do you have, obviously you listen to a lot of music as much as you play a lot of music I'm assuming. Yeah, um, I um, I'm really into Bob Dylan and for his writing. Uh, it's always been a big mm -hmm. inspiration. Um, and uh, I, I like uh, a lot of the old bluegrass guys um, for kind of the way that they could arrange the songs. And not that the content of the song was something that I always relate to, but um, I, I have to give them credit for teaching me a lot. Yeah. What, you know. Now you're gonna play a song for us. Can you can you set it up a little? Uh, it's one that you wrote. Um, yeah, um, I have a new song that I thought would be fun to play since I haven't gotten the opportunity to play it in front of so many people. Um, and uh, this one came from uh, going to the Rocky Grass Festival, which is the Bluegrass Festival in Lyons, put on by Planet Bluegrass, who does the Telluride Bluegrass Festival as well. Um, it's it's you asked what inspires me that week of music with all these sorts of other musicians from all over the country all over the world you played with these guys um it, it's it's a festival that um is very centered around musicians so after the music's done uh everybody goes out to the to the campground and they play together and you just walk around you can join any group talk and meet all sorts of great people and so a couple weeks after I'd, I'd done um, I, that festival, and along with that festival is a, a song school or an academy. So you're, you're taking lessons from the people that are performing on stage, so the big name artists. And um, this, um, this year I got to uh, take a songwriting class with John Randall, um, who's played in Lyle Lovett's band, Emmy Lou Harris's band, Sam Bush's band. And, nice, um, and, and so this song that you wrote is inspired by this week at 
Yeah, and so I, I call it trading songs because really what you do when you get together with your buddies is is um, I'll play a song and you play a song and we just go back and forth and trade trade the work that we've been doing. And so I, I'm really looking forward to next year when I have an opportunity to bring that song back. So awesome. Well, so we're going to take a quick break and then when we come back we're going to hear trading songs. Sounds good. All right. And then uh, do, you, do you have CD, iTunes? I mean, do you have your music out there? Or? Yeah. Um, well, Hunker Down recorded an album in 2009 um, called Wood for the Fire, and it's available on iTunes or um, Spotify. Wood for the Fire. And, and so that's a, good, that's a great album with, uh, with Hunker Down. All right. We're going to take a quick break. When we come back, we'll hear Andy uh, Strauss play Trading Songs. 